Remember to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Remember to hit that like button after you hear this video. Here's another great tip for you in Golferland to help you if anyone suffers from either that big pull to the left, again for a right-handed golfer, a big pull to the left, or a bit of a shank, this is the great tip for you. What I want you to do is do this in real slow motion. Every little feeling that we try and change in the golf swing must be done at a snail pace. If we don't do it in snail pace, it won't work. If we do it at a fast, full pace motion, we'll never make a, a good, considerable change in the golf swing. So whenever you're changing your golf swing, you've got to do it in ultra slow motion, real snail pace, as I like to say. So what I want you to do here, this is only a little drill, tiny little swing. What I want you to do is feel like you're taking the club back just outside your right foot. And what I want you to feel, if you, again, if you've got those pulls or if you've got those shanky ones, I want you to try and feel the handle of the club is going towards the ball. Now, when you feel that handle going towards the ball, what happens at the same time is that club head comes closer to us. When that club head comes closer to us, where are we more likely to strike that ball? Yeah, out the toe. We've got no chance of shanking it, absolutely no chance. Added to that fact, the handle of the golf club is also traveling out to the right and not allowing the face to rotate at this stage, where's the ball gonna go? It's gonna go more to the right. Where's it not gonna go? It's not gonna go to the left. For those of you who do what I call hit from the top, we really turn, handle goes down and around. The problem is when the handle goes down and low and around, it pushes the sweet spot outwards in front of the ball and therefore is a big, big risk, unless we make a big compensation, a big risk of shanking that shot, that ball coming way out the heel. So what I want you to do is this really slow but exaggerated, really slow but exaggerated feeling where that handle is going up and out, where that handle is going up and out, because as I say, that club head will come closer to us and will more likely hit that toe end of that golf club and completely avoid that real dreaded heel end. Do a few of those little drills before you hit each shot to get that feeling of where the handle needs to be traveling. That handle again needs to be going slightly up towards the ball, again to stop that ball from going to the left. You'll notice the first few go way right, but once we allow that sensation of the club and the hands to do their work on the way through, that ball will very easily go with a really nice draw at the start right, and then curve gently to the left of target. Hope this helps. Let me know how you get on. Catch up with you all soon.